Yam, call me Earl. <laughs> how should I, how should I dress you? Yam doesn't seem right either. Um, your idea about Burning Man, about playing, uh, just uh, setting up a game on the street corner, or the street, or your camp, or a public area, or in front of art, or in art, or on top of art. Um, all that would have been fine, unless, you know, your getting on art inter either interferes with people's enjoyment of the art, or might break the art. A lot of times the artist is present, you might say, can I go up on top of your pyramid and uh, play people chess? And they might think, oh gosh, I was hoping somebody would be the pinnacle. And the fact that you'll stay up there on that pinnacle and then encourage people to come up and play chess with you, that makes my art complete. Or they might say, no man, don't climb on my art. <laughs> go climb on that guy's art. He says that's cool. And then you go and find out that is cool. And there's everyone's climbing it and they want to play chess with you. Or whatever game you want to make up or bring with you. Um, yeah, I mean, my experience were the things that I were looking for were the things I found. I mean, everything that is human nature um, is there in Burning Man. So, uh, you know, all things are encouraged except for things that would interfere with other people's enjoyment. And a lot of times, um, there's places for that. Um, there, there are, like, camps where uh, pretty much anything goes. And, uh, and, you, and you know, you either know about them or hear about them or you seek them out. So, I mean, you really find what you look for there. And, uh, and your freedom uh, is respected. Um, people might, if you're doing something, sometimes people might challenge you. They might say, is what you're doing safe or uh, um, shouldn't you uh, be doing it uh, this way or shouldn't you be doing it over there? And they also, it's up for discussion. I mean, the community looks after itself, but it's not really intrusive. Um, I had a guy talk to me about not having lights, and I just turned mine off because I was walking through an area of tents, and I have my flashlights insanely bright. And so I turned it off till I got through where I thought, you know, I was out of sleeping areas. And someone had uh, little day glow sticks, and he, he wanted, he was either gonna give me one of these day glow sticks, because he's like, it's pitch black, you're dark, there's people driving around, people biking around. I'm like, oh, I understand. Um, but I have my light. I, I flicked it on and everything just lit up with this blinding light. Um, so uh, in a way also that was another suggestion for me to think of uh, maybe I need like a, maybe a low intensity light uh, for where uh, I still need to be lit up so I could be safe and be safe for the people around me. Um, but don't disturb uh, people sleeping. Um, what else? Oh, someone... Uh, got upset with me when I, uh, I went through a, uh, an intersection. I actually, someone had taken down the sign, so I didn't realize I was driving through an intersection when I first got there. And uh, this person got upset at me because I didn't stop to let them through. They were driving too, but I, I, I didn't let that worry me too much. I mean, that guy, that guy was okay to stay there for a moment. I'd been in the car for like 16 hours or something like that. So, uh, a, a certain amount of inconvenience. Uh, th that guy had to wait for two seconds for me to drive by. I had to wait five hours in line to come in. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a little bits of friction, um, but uh, more than that, there is opportunities for uh, self-expression and uh, for sharing. And uh, it's really a community that encourages uh, interactivity. Um, and th sometimes people get a little too carried away with that, but. Uh, um, if so, like I said, that there is a place where they're getting carried away over there. <laughs> um, yeah, I love it. I think that uh, all the freedoms and the things that make sense, uh, like not wearing clothes. Um, if you don't need to wear clothes, you shouldn't have to wear clothes. Uh, even if you're going uh, into center camp uh, to get some coffee. Um, if you don't need clothes, you don't need clothes. Um, like, if I wasn't wearing clothes here, not only would someone probably call the police, but the police would probably come. Like, you know, they're strapped for cash, but they have time to go uh, harass a guy that's naked. <laughs> you know, like, why is that wrong again? Um, but there's lots of things like that. Um, you know, if it's not wrong, it's not interfering with somebody, then it's good. You could do it. Um... And then, the, but then along those lines, the culture has uh, certain, uh, they frown on certain things. I'll tell you a couple things they frown on. 
I'll tell you three things. One's called shirt cocking. It's where uh, you're just wearing your shirt but no pants. So it kind of takes people aback. Um, and they say, uh, they say, either lose the shirt or get some pants. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, where, where's Waldo? Which is the classic every time uh, it's time to wash up or make dinner or set up camp or tear down camp. You're like, hey, where's, where's Waldo? The person always disappears when there's work to be done. Um, and then there's the sparkle pony. And... Uh, they were, t they were talking about the definition of a sparkle pony. One person said, it's the, the young girl that brings 50 outfits to wear and intends on doing no work, um, including bringing food. That's all she's brought. She's brought her 50 outfits, but she's planning on having her camp set up. She's planning on eating three meals a day, and she's planning on continuous alcohol and drugs, except that that's other people's concern. So that kind of like self-reliance, uh, that radical self-reliance, the sparkle pony... She's relying on the fact that uh, she's got yarn in her hair, she's half naked and dancing in front of your camp in her underwear, and you're gonna be like, can I make you dinner, Sparkle Pony? She's gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's some people that are into, uh, in, into supporting the Waldos and the Sparkle Ponies, and uh, you gotta tolerate the shirt cockers because uh, they're just rocking it. <laughs> They're rocking it with it out. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, yeah, until, uh, until I know uh, how to address you in the future. I apologize for my lack of social skills. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the tubes. And maybe I'll see you at Burning Man. That'd be awesome.